Hi, my name is Tony Aller, head instructor here at Nineheart Muay Thai in Dublin. This is going to be a tutorial on breaking the clinch for the Warrior Collective. This is my assistant, Connie. So, first technique we're going to work from I have control of Connie's head. Now, first thing Connie's going to do is going to put his left hand into my left armpit. His right hand sweeps underneath, gets control of my right elbow. Now from here, his left leg is going to go to the outside of my right knee and he's going to simply turn me over his leg. So, so again, I have control of Connie's head. His left hand comes around, grips into my left armpit. His right hand comes underneath, grips my right elbow. His left leg will come to the outside of my right leg and he's going to use his left knee to push in against my right knee as he turns. So I'll come to the other side. Again, I control of Connie's head. His left hand will come around, get in control of my left armpit. His right hand swims underneath, gets control of my right elbow. His left leg will move to the outside of my right leg and he uses his knee to tap me over. As he Pulls with the arms. One more time from that side. So again, left hand gets control of my armpit, right hand gets control of my right elbow. He uses his left leg to sweep me as he twists my body. Okay, so next technique. Cody has control of my head. Yeah, let you go to this side. I'm going to use my right arm to get underneath his chin. Now the reason I push his chin rather than here, when I force his chin backwards, it really hurts the back of his neck and he hasn't got nearly as much strength as he would if I was pushing his forehead or trying to push in here. So we're here, I get underneath the chin, push the chin back. With my left hand, as I push back his chin with my own neck, I'm going to pull my head back, creating this bit of space between us. This is what I need. This bit of space between our two chests for me to get my hand in. With my left hand, I swim inside, get control of the back of his neck. Now my elbow stuck in here. My right hand, swim in. And I drop my weight as I pull my neck down. So again, Kali has control of my neck. I'm going to use my right hand to push his chin back. At the same time, I'm pulling with my neck, creating this bit of space between our chests. With my left hand, I come inside. Right hand, come inside. Now look. As I pull down his neck, I'm not just using the power from my arms, I jump a little bit and I use my body weight to break his, break his posture. Now from here he's not strong. Score the knees. One more time. Yeah, we'll go from this side. So from here I'm going to use my right hand to force his chin backwards. At the same time I'm pulling my neck back, creating this bit of space between our chest. This is the important thing. I need the space so I can get my hand on the inside. My hand is no good here. I want it on the inside. Now, with my right hand, I'm very quick and swim inside. Now, kind of still quite strong here because the neck is upright. So I'm going to do a little jump and I'll use my body weight coming down to help me break his posture. Hips are back, now I can knee. Okay, the third one. Again, I'm going to grab the shelf from this side. So, again, Connie has control of my neck. I'm going to use my right hand to force his chin back. Again, same principle as the last one. I pull back with my left hand, or with my neck. This time I'm going to use my right, my head to trap his hand. So between his, my head and my right shoulder, I'm trapping his hand. With a glove on as well, it's much harder for him to pull that out. So with my left hand now, guys, I'm going to swim inside, get control of the back of his neck. I'm going to come up onto the ball of this right foot, and I'm going to very simply pivot. From here, I just load it up the left knee to the face. So again, I use my right hand to push his chin backwards. I'm trapping his right arm between my head, or his left arm between my head and my right shoulder. And I keep that tight. Now, this space is between our chests again. So with my left hand, I'm going to swim inside, get control of the back of his neck. And this right leg, I come up on the ball, take a slight step, and pivot. Boom! Knee to the head. One more time. 
So, again, I push back with the chin, creating this bit of space. As I'm pushing his chin back, I'm pulling with my head. I'm trapping his left arm between my head and my right shoulder. When my left hand, I swim inside because I've created this space. I swim inside, get control of the back of his neck. With my right foot, I take a little step to the outside, and I'm going to pivot. Boom, setting up that left knee. Thanks for watching this tutorial on breaking the clinch. For more information on myself and my gym, please visit www.lionheartmuaytai.com. For more videos or tutorials, please visit the Warrior Collective.